His voice was little more than a whisper. The low, steady moan of the wind outside was louder. I didn't think I would be, but I am. There's nothing to be scared of. Instead of taking Charlie's pulse, there was really no point. He took one of the old man's hands in his. He saw Charlie's twin sons at four on swings. He saw Charlie's wife pulling down a shade in the bedroom, wearing nothing but slip and Belgian lace he bought her for their first anniversary. Saw how her ponytail swung over one shoulder when she turned to look at him. Her face lit in a smile that was all yes. He saw a farm all tractor with a striped umbrella raised over the seat. He smelled bacon and heard Frank Sinatra singing, Come Fly With Me, from a cracked Motorola radio sitting on a work table littered with tools. He saw a hubcat full of rain reflecting a red barn. He tasted blueberries and gutted a deer and fished in some distant lake whose surface was dappled by steady autumn rain. He was 60, dancing with his wife in the American Legion Hall. He was 30, splitting wood. He was five, wearing shorts and pulling a red wagon. Then the pictures blurred together the way cards do when they're shuffled in the hands of an expert. And the wind was blowing big snow down from the mountains. And in here was silence and the house cat's solemn, watching eyes. At times like this, Dan knew what he was for. At times like this, he regretted nothing. None of the pain and sorrow and anger and horror because they had brought him to this room while the wind moved outside. Charlie Hayes had come to the border. I'm not scared of hell. I lived a decent life and I don't think there is such a place anyway. I'm scared that there's nothing. He struggled for breath. A pearl of blood was swelling in the corner of his right eye. There was nothing before. We all know that. So don't it stand to reason that there's nothing after? But there is, Dan said, and wiped Charlie's face with a damp cloth. We never really end, Charlie. I don't know how that can be or what it means. I only know that it is. Can you help me get over? They say you can help people. Yes, I can help. He took Charlie's other hand as well. It's just going to sleep. And when you wake up, you will wake up. Everything is going to be better. 